when the colonel asks a question, damn you. Where's the gun, Sneed? Look, make it easy on yourself, soldier. You're facing a hanging now for treason. Go. I told you I don't know anything about a gun. No sign of the Gatlin, sir. Detail! Rejoin company! Hello! I forbid you to carry this any further, sir. You forbid? Lieutenant Malcolm, talk to this man. Reverend Harper, there are a lot of dead people because of this man. Private Sneed cleansed himself before God and man when he helped me do away with that instrument of hell. If you must punish someone, then punish me. Reverend, we've all heard you speak on the Indian reservations. We know that you are in favor of peace. We commend you for that. Oh, well, now, isn't that nice? But Two Knife is a, a killer Apache, a white man hater. Hasn't he every reason to be? Look, we're military men. We're not interested in the politics of this situation. Two Knife has every right to live free on his own land. If he's a good Indian, no one's going to bother him. You mean a reservation Indian? But he's not on the reservation, is he? He's on the warpath with almost a hundred braves. I've lived among the Apache. I know Two Knife. I've never been harmed. Weapons like the Gatling gun can destroy people and whole nations. It is evil and must be done away with. For what other reason would he help me destroy the gun? Apache gold. That isn't true. Tell him it isn't true. What time does a trooper have to go prospecting, Reverend? Those are trapper saddlebags. It's not mine. You be quiet. We rode through Grand Forks looking for you. It's been burned down. Everybody's been killed. Those Apaches are looking for that gun, and they know that you have it, and I want to know why. How? Red Forks. Did you know that this man was in the guardhouse for murder? And that the other trooper shot two of our soldiers to get him out to help you steal that gun? But they helped me destroy the gun. Then I have to know where it is, to make sure. Because if Two Knights gets his hands on it, we'll have nothing but Grand Forks all over the place. But why? Why did they come to me? Two knife needed you. You're the only man that could move freely through that garrison. Doesn't seem to be harmed, sir. I didn't expect it to be. Get someone to make it operable, Malcolm. Yes, sir. That'll be your job, Mitchell. Yes, sir. <laughs> safe at all costs.
Rocky, true man. We will stop this killing. You listen to me. Everett Harper, you get up on that wagon and quick. Do you need a runner? No. Take him and get the hell out of here. Hold your fire. Take the wagon. The rest of you, follow me. Call him a twos. Pueblo de los Santos. It looks deserted. Yeah. I will spend the night here. Elwood? Yes, sir. Take a look around. Shots sound like pistols. You better try. Hold your fire! Hold your fire inside! We're U.S. Cavalry. Who are you? Walk out into the light so we can see you. Want to get yourself killed? Those buckskins aren't going to mistake you for an Apache. You can see me. Come on in. Runner. Benton. I'm 
Lieutenant Wade Malcolm. This is my scout runner. Sorry for the reception, Lieutenant, but we can't afford to take any chances. You didn't. And I've got a wounded man out there to prove it. Well, I'm sorry. Please bring him inside and we'll fix a bed for him by the fire. Lieutenant, this is my family. My daughter, Martha. My boy, Jim. I'm Luke. Luke Boland. And the man in the back is Tin Pot. It's Reverend Harper and his daughter. Miss Harper, Reverend, welcome. Make yourselves comfortable. Well, let's get out with. You gonna make it, soldier? Gonna make it all right, sir. All right, Ben. You tie that man to this thing. Get some men, get the Gatling gun into the house. Yes, sir. guard for the night. If anything moves, you shoot it. That includes him. Yes, sir. Let's go, soldier. Yeah. Right. Put him on the bench, runner. Martha, see if you can help him, honey. Mr. Boland, who was the marksman? My Martha shoots as good as anyone, Lieutenant. Sometimes better. Thanks a lot, lady. Just be thankful for small favors, blue boy. Open the door. I can't make it out yet, sir. Well, you keep at it. Tell me something, Lieutenant. Why did you come this way? Through Los Santos? Safer. Probably shorter. Don't forget, we're running, too. Yankees? That figures. Uh, Lieutenant. This thing looks deadly. Yeah, Mr. Bowen, it is deadly. You see, the cavalry spread kind of thin in this territory. So the War Department sent us this Gatling. We're taking it to the garrison. Looks like a ten-barrel coffee grinder. <laughs> Ever see anything new work right the first time? You got a point there, Sonny. Like them first Winchesters. Always jamming they was. Lieutenant, who invented this? Doctor fella named Richard Jordan Gatlin. Well, you're a bear cat. A hundred miles from nowhere, and he knows all about Gatlin's. First of them come out in 1861. Did, huh? Hmm? Then how come I never saw one in action? Because you was fighting them hillbilly Yankees. They were hardly were used in the war. Tin Pot, did you know that this will fire about 500 rounds a minute? <whistles> no wonder Lee gave up so suddenly. Yeah, Jefferson Davis knew what it could do. And a doctor invented that, huh? Mm-hmm. That's ironic. A healer of human beings creating a machine of destruction like this. Yeah, but it seemed that his motive was just the opposite. He figured if he could invent a weapon that would make war terrible, people stop fighting with each other. I know, but Lieutenant, uh, that's for dreamers. Why didn't he study human nature first? What's the matter, Mitchell? 
Something's missing here, sir. Well, don't pound on it. You're not going to find anything by pounding on it. Why don't you let Tin Pot fix it? Do you think you can fix it? Well, not if and I don't try, I can't. All right, give it a try. Uh, Sonny, why don't you go outside and play with your toy pistol till I get through? How'd you come to find yourself here, Mr. Bowen? Apaches on the warpath. Hmm. Caught us off guard at the ranch. Coming out your ears. Burned everything that they couldn't carry away. Took every head of livestock that I own, with the exception of those two. Lucky to get out alive. Smoke, Lieutenant? Thanks, I'll take it from there. That's why we keep them in here. Jim thought you might like to put this around you. Oh, he said he wouldn't need it. Put this in your innards. Blow that lantern. Do as he says, quick. Somebody's gonna steal me. got in the way. Well, tie this one up, runner. Two 
knife. Two knife, my friend. You two knife. Inside. Stop. Uh, two knife. Harper, will you listen to me? Two knife. It's your friend, Reverend Harper. Harper. Uh. Your friend. Excuse me, sir. Fine. We're not taking them. We're just borrowing them. The Indians left us alone here until you came. Relax. Are you a boy, Lobo fellow? We're all in this together. Hold it right there. I'll appreciate it, son, if you control your temper so I can control the back of my hand. You heard what the man said. We're all in this together. They're yours, Lieutenant. Runner, we're going to be out of all this. We'll meet up with the Colonel tomorrow. Just don't know. Ah. Now, I didn't see you hesitate when I showed you two knives gold. It's been a long time. I know. But this is hardly the time. Or the place. Then let's get out of here. Impossible. There are guards all over this church. Besides, I think we ought to stay with the Gatling until two knives frees us. So that Malcolm is not going to be taken easy. It's making me nervous. They're on foot now. They can be taken easy. Not if they get that Gatlin to work it. You know what I don't understand? Trapper said it worked perfectly. It's probably jammed or something. How much did two knife offer us? And I never did see that stuff Trapper had in his saddlebags. Five sacks like these. If he gets the Gatling.
Say, Lieutenant. I'm afraid with that gun in there and that big load, those horses are going to give out. They're getting tired. All right, everybody out. We all walk from here on. Six point. Yes, ma'am. Runner, how long you known the lieutenant? Since before he went to military school, I worked for his family. He was a young one then. I fought in the war beside his brother in 63. He's made a fine stuff, ma'am. I know they're out there, Lieutenant. Yes, sir, that's two nights out there, all right. Then why doesn't he attack? Because he doesn't know what we know, baby. That the Gatlin gun isn't working. stop here unless we're going to make a camp. Well, Mr. Bowen, we're going to make a camp. Where's Mitchell? Up high. We keep an eye on everything. All right, we make camp. You've made ten fun. Sentry, stay at your post. Oh, 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 oh,
Sorry about the kid. We were friends once. Yeah. You got a minute to talk? <laughs> so I made a bad move. What the hell? And the pay we get gold can be a hell of a temptation. Especially a lot of it. Reach in my pocket. Go ahead. nothing. What's a corporal's pay? Not very much. Go on, keep it. I got plenty more. Hell fire! <laughs> Just when I thought I had it. What are you hollering about, Tin Pot? What's the matter? Oh, the damn thing's simple, but it's got to be perfect. Firing pin's missing. That's a firing pin? The master firing pin's missing. Oh, if I had a grind wheel. You see, this is a railroad spike. Now, if I can get it fine smooth, it'll work. I'm positive. Yeah, don't worry. I'll get it or I'll bust a gizzard. You keep it up, Tin Pot, and thank you for the help. Oh, that's all right, Lieutenant. We're all in this damn thing together. Jim. Where's that firing pin, Sneed? I don't know what you're talking about. The firing pin for the Gatling gun. Where is it? Search him, Jim. Hey, that gold's from the White Mountains. That's two knife country. Hold it, Indian, right where you are. Lieutenant. Tengo un mensaje de dos cuchillos para el jefe de los ojos blancos. Does anyone here understand Spanish? Sure, we got yeah, it. I know. Ten pot. Uh, he says he's got a message for you. Sigue. Diré lo que digo nada más una vez. Denos la pistola real y los dejamos vivir. Nosotros somos muchos. Ustedes son pocos. Pueden contestarnos en inglés. Uh, he says they want the king gun. That's what they call the Gatlin. Otherwise, we all die. Uh, maybe like Mitchell. Oh, and he says you can answer him in English. He understands. Why doesn't he talk English? Some of them hate us so much they won't speak our language. But you got to be strong with him, Lieutenant, unless you want to give him the gun. You come here under a flag of truce without even asking me if I'll accept it. Under my rules, I could kill you. You dishonored yourselves by burning my scout. That was the act of a squaw. It didn't scare us. I don't want to kill any more of your people. But many more braves will die if you make me use that Gatling gun. You tell that to your leader. Do not speak of soldiers with honor. That is White Eye's honor. Gold! And I give you gold! Even more! Give us the gun and go! All men are human, even soldiers. But there are many who will not sell their honor. 
Sometimes it's easier to die. You die, White Eyes. They die. Chief Two Knife. I could kill you right now. And maybe or maybe not, it would solve all of our problems. I don't have anything to risk. What do you have to say? Como sabe quién soy? Uh, he wants to know how you know he's too nice. said, there is only one Mimbreno Apache chief who speaks fluent Spanish and understandable English. Two knife can go, I give him his life. I give you your life. Except for that one. He will die no matter. Failed me. Your time is short. Some of them shot. Shot, but it's gotta be armless. Then I followed the tracks down the bed stream away. Same trail. They're traveling and doubling back in a circle around us. Following the dry river bed. I suppose they're afraid of the gun. It's interesting to know that they're afraid of something. Well, I hope so. They're attacked when and where to their advantage. Yeah, Lieutenant. Sometimes they're as uncivilized as we are. It fits all right, Lieutenant, but I got a feeling it just ain't smooth enough. Well, we'll just have to try it, Finn. But worst we can do is let Two Knife know he's in for trouble. We'll try. Uh, just ain't right. Like everything Now give me that pin. What? Don't hand me that. I want the pin to the Gatling gun. What are you talking about? How do I know about such things? You're just as thick a trapper as you were with me. And you knew that gun better than anyone. You don't. The lieutenant, there's a trial. Anything can happen. Well, I wanted the gold. And you? To hell with the gold. I want that pin. I don't have the pin. She means to kill me no matter what. Good if you can't spend it, lover. You've got to believe. 
believe me? I told you the truth. You shouldn't be walking around in the dark. I couldn't sleep. You certainly look like a girl. I may never have a chance to wear a dress again. Well, the colonel's out there somewhere. He'll find us soon. Anyway, it's too warm to wear trousers. Over there talking to Snead. Damn it. Something wrong? Yes. You. Escaped. I found her like this, only she was unconscious. See, it was lying beside her. He got loose. He tried to get me to go with him. I refused, so he hit me. Martha, you bring her. You come with me. Runner! Lieutenant! What's going on out there? Mr. Boland, if Two Knife finds out that our Gatling doesn't work, we're through. Sneed just escaped. I'm sure he's going to tell him. Come on. One of our sentries has been knifed.
How long do you figure he's been with us, Lieutenant? Three, maybe four hours. He's been dogging us like a buzzard. Waiting for us to keel over. And he ain't got long to wait. Well, let's move out. Are you all right? I wish we could stop and rest for a while. He's crazy. Pushing us like this. What are you trying to do, Wade? Kill us? The women can't take this pace. We gotta stop. I know that. But look up there. But they can't walk. They haven't eaten anything. They don't have the strength to go on. Jim, if we stop now, all those women have got to look forward to is rape and murder. We've got to find some place we can get our back us against the wall, defend ourselves. All right, we'll stop for five minutes. Hold up! Runner, come on with me. Lieutenant, there. Any protection here? I like it, Lieutenant. I think you picked the right spot. You get a good view from almost everywhere up here. Yeah. There's a little rock spring back there. Only the men go for water. Jim, you and Runner go first. Fill up the canteens.
Ricardo. Hijo de perros! I tried. We tried to bring it to Gatlin. They were onto us. We didn't know. You have failed. My warriors have died because you have failed. And we still don't have King Gun. But I came looking for you to tell you that. Rojo! Amarralo! No! Now we will see if your spirit will live as long as your body. Or will you scream cries of a coward until my warriors kill you? No, tonight. I've got something to tell you, something important. That's why I'm here. What do you say? First, you've got to promise you'll let me go. Maybe give me some of the gold. It's a way to capture Malcolm and the Gatlin. I swear it's true. True? What do you say that's true? To save my life? Leona told me you're a man of your word. You give me your word, I can go free, and I'll tell you how to get to Gatlin. Easy, very easy. It's true. The Gatlin doesn't work. There's something wrong with it. That's why it was never used against you. All you needed was an all-out attack. Wade. Oh, sure. Plenty of them. Thanks. Hungry? Uh, what's that? What else? I'll try to concentrate on something else. What are you gonna do when we get back to Deadwood? Buy some more cows. Start all over, I guess. Thought your pup was wiped out. He still has a little bit of money in the bank. Will you be stationed at the garrison? I never know. Our troops been moved around a lot the last couple of years. But I've got a furlough coming. I think I'll take it if when we get out of here. Lieutenant. Papa, what is it? Lieutenant, follow me. And you stay right where you are. System, son. What the hell are you talking about, Bolin? How do you get a massacre like that out of your system? Massacre? Maybe you're right. But why did they call it a victory when we kill the Indians in a massacre? When something like this happens? You're dead either way, Lieutenant. Bolin, I'm just trying to do what every man has ever done. Survive. There's a lot of ways to die. Just don't let hate eat you up. That Indian is a murderer. Who made him a murderer?
Lieutenant! Lieutenant! Out there. Yeah, this is sooner than I expected. You can't count but ten. They must have missed Sneed. Yeah, but don't bet on it. Two knife, he's part fox, part wolf. Not about to trust anyone. That's just a feeler bunch. You all keep your eyes on them, though. Lieutenant, come here. I want to show you something. Everybody take positions. It works, Lieutenant. I've got it. I've got it. You see? The pen fits. Gatlin, gun ready for firing, sir. <laughs> I hope you're right, Ten Pot. Aren't you going to give me a gun to help? Help who? Everybody hold your fire. Ah, uh, the pen's broke, damn it. The heat done it. I got nothing to temper it with. That gun's useless? Well, they don't know it. All right, Lieutenant, out with it. You got something on your mind, and it isn't poking that fire. on Clauswitz's theory of war. Clauswitz? Sounds like one of them new patent medicine syrups. <laughs> What's the first and only thing those Apaches expect us to do? I'd say they'd want us to stay right here until they figured out some way to get at us. Mm hmm But so what are you getting at? Attack. Attack? With seven men, Lieutenant? Well, if we got lucky, might be able to scatter their horses, probably even get a couple of them. Well, that could make sense, because then they would have to fight us on foot. Right. Yeah, we could pick them off with our rifles. It's worth a try, Lieutenant. We'd be in a better position. Anything is better than to wait here till the end. You have any more of those cigars? <laughs> the way it looks now, Lieutenant, more than I'll ever be able to smoke. Have one. Runner, how's our ammunition? More than we'll ever use. We'll take the lead out of the cartridges. Pour the powder into something. Do you have any uh, cans, bottles? 
If I got beans, I got cans. And I got nothing but beans. Sort of singe their feathers, Lieutenant. Yeah. You tell Jimmy's to stay here in the camp and guard the women? Right, sir. like those cigars.
Jim, I'm leaving. Will you come with me? No, you're not going anywhere. Oh, come with me. Look, you'll die here. It's only a matter of time, and I can save us. Look, I know two nights. Come with me. Leona, I can't let you go. Don't you understand? I'm going, Jim. Come back here. Would you shoot me? Oh, just... Stay. Would you shoot me? No. Leona! behind the rocks. Let's get up to the high ground. Everybody take cover. Two knights are going to be right on our heels. Oh, what happened? Get him out of here. I'm all right. Just a scratch. Here they come. Here.
Come on, let's get up there. On the alert. We really turn him back on the next charge. I got that pin. How long? Just give me a minute, Lieutenant, and then we'll have a real surprise for him. Come on, come on. Who's waiting on who? It's all yours, Lieutenant. have a chance against this gun.
Runner, what's Wade doing out there alone? You ever seen a cavalry officer who wasn't a professional volunteer, Mr. Boland? They all think they're custard. <laughs> 